Yo, what is going on guys, my name is Defend Machine, and today I've got you an awesome gameplay for the background, it's a HBR Wraith Bean Sanity DNA bomb, and a lot of you will know, I'd say from two videos back right now, that where I did a supply drop opening, I got my second HBR Wraith Bean Sanity, and this is a gameplay shortly after I got that, I don't have many attachments for it, I only had the foregrip and extending mags, no stock, no quick draw, so it's a really fast DNA bomb for not having those attachments, and it's really clutchy as well, so hopefully you all enjoy today's gameplay. So now we're just going to dive straight into talking about what I want to talk about for today's video, because this DNA bomb is really fast, so I don't have an awful lot of time to talk about what I'm going to talk about today and if you can tell by the title, the thumbnail or anything to do with the video, we're going to be talking about legendary variants being made for those guns that have been in Advanced Warfare since release date, so since day one or day zero and also why in my opinion I don't think this system would work for the older guns due to the fact that if you look at guns like I'm using in this gameplay right now, the Insanity, the stats of the gun are honestly nothing less than the weapon variant title says itself with that plus one damage and that plus two fire rate and the decrease is not really even mattering the HBR A3 Insanity, these stats are absolutely insane for a gun like the HBR HBRA3. And in all honesty as well guys, I don't think they could have better stat increases and decreases on a gun than the HBRA3 Insanity does for a gun like the HBRA3. I mean, at the end of the day, really, the HBRA3, even if Advanced Warfare didn't have variants in it, it would still be probably one of the most popular and most used guns in the game, and it probably would be one of the best as well. But now, when they've added variants into the game and they've made a gun like the Insanity, a lot of people consider this to be the very best variant in the game. And just because of that, if they were going to remaster every weapon in the game to have a legendary weapon variant or two, I don't think they could do it with a HBRA3. HBRA3 in all honesty, because if you're going to make a weapon that is more overpowered than the HBRA3 Insanity, then, then God help us to be honest, because this gun is just way too overpowered as it is, and if you're going to make one that's even more overpowered, then, then we're fucked. And yeah, I know a lot of you will disagree with me at the same time, because the BAL27 has the most popular overpowered pair of elite guns in the game, being the Inferno and the Obsidian Steed, and they're completely different to each other, so why can't the HBRA3 have a variant that's different to the Insanity, but be equally as overpowered? So I'm going to tell you why right now, and I honestly don't think they could make it equally overpowered and make it legendary at the same time because if you think about legendary variants they're meant to be better than elite variants like I previously said and overall anyways the insanity is a really really rare gun variant to get out of an advanced supply drop or a supply drop within advanced warfare as it is so if they're going to make something like a legendary variant which legendary is like literally one out of a hundred to get at least one variant of something legendary if they're going to make a legendary HBRA3 would it be worth even having in the game because they can't make it too more overpowered than the insanity because the insanity as it is it probably conquers every gun in the game right now it probably has from day one but people have under lied it due to like battles and stuff like that and speakeasies because they're really really flexible play style types of guns but if you get good with the HBR and you really enjoy using it the HBR A3 Insanity it's just it's just like there and it is bare and don't get me wrong right if they were going to do this and I don't think Sledgehammer Games pays much attention to the game as does community general players do anyways I think their best bet would probably be to think oh let's just give it a reskin camo like the SVO legendary has because that looks really cool and a lot of people like that style so let's put that on there but let's make the exact same stats as the Insanity I don't know they probably might do that for a lot of the better variants on the guns and then they might say hey we're going to pass this off as a legendary variant a new legendary variant within advanced warfare it's nothing like we've seen before it's only got a different camo so that's generally what i think they would do if they added a legendary variant of every other gun in the game and i want to know your guys's opinions in the comment section below so that's basically today's video the gameplay was kind of short and the commentary it was kind of quick as well because i don't have an awful lot of time to make a video today so thank you all for watching slap like on the video if you enjoyed and a favorite if you loved it and i'll see you guys in the video tomorrow or the next day and peace out